I'm Melissa Fuller with Shape of the City. We are out at Wyoka Cemetery to talk about Wreaths Across America, which has been in Lincoln for over 10 years now. I am with Sheila O'Connor, and we're going to find out more about this program and what is be, what will be going on in December. Hi, Sheila. Hi, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, it's wonderful, and we lucked out. It's a beautiful day here. Absolutely. It's great to be at Wyoka Cemetery. We're excited to host our 12th Wreaths Across America. Here at Wyuka, we um, have a local organizing committee of volunteers that come together, work closely with the staff um, of Wyuka and the Wyuka Foundation to put this event together. We love it and we just want to get the word out and invite people to come out and celebrate with us. That's wonderful. Can you give me a little bit of a history about the overall Reads Across America? Um, how did it get started and where is it going on? Well, there's a, there was a young boy, um, his name was Moral. Worcester um, back in Bangor, Maine, and he had won a trip to go to Washington, D.C. and had gotten to go to Arlington National Cemetery and was just um, fell in love with the cemetery. And as he got older, older, he made visits back to the cemetery and he saw where some of the older graves were not decorated for the holidays. And they, you know, some of them may have just been forgotten or by the wayside. So he founded a wreath company as he got older, wreath, and then decided one year when he had wreaths left over, he would donate them to Arlington. And so they were taken to Arlington and placed on the graves of um, our military personnel. And then one year, it was a, someone took a photo of it and it just caught like wildfire. People across the country wanted to know how they could help support the wreaths at Arlington. And then people wanted to know how they could help support the wreaths in their local communities. So that's how Wreaths Across America um, came to be and how it got started really across the world. Right now, um, this year, there'll be wreath laying ceremonies at over 3,000 locations um, in the United States, overseas, and on the oceans to recognize our military uh, personnel. So how did it get started in Lincoln? Um, it just there was a local organizing committee. A lot of folks are familiar with Dean and Jerry Finnegan. They were um, instrumental in bringing it to to Lincoln and to Wyuka and then just Dean just started asking for volunteers and people just came forward and and we've been blessed with a great core group of volunteers and we continue to um, add volunteers and always look for volunteers to to be on the organizing committee which organizes the two events and then on the Saturday when we host the event here at the cemetery we invite families um, to come out it's a great um, family friendly event to come out we invite people that might need um, community service hours. A lot of high school kids need pick up some service hours. Um, we have military groups, we have Blue Star Mothers. We just have a great, great number of volunteers that come out the day and help us lay the wreaths. Um, okay, so those two events, when are those going on? And talk about what, what those, those events will be looking like. Sure, we have two events. Um, our first one will be Monday, December 12th, where we will present a wreath similar to this to the state of Nebraska. And we're gonna do that in the rotunda at the Capitol. Well, there'll be a, um, a presentation um, and a short program. We'll have Lincoln Christian Choir singers come out and participate with that. And we really invite the public to join us, um, military veterans, um, care home facilities, anybody that wants to come to that. And then our event here at Wyuka is Saturday the 17th. Um, a short program will begin up in the Soldier's Circle up on the top. If you come in off of Vine Street, you'll see where we'll have a tent set up and have the presentation. Um, Jim Partington is gonna be our speaker. So um, Jim is a longtime name familiar to Lincoln and has been around Lincoln, retired military, and is gonna give us a brief presentation. And then as we do that, um, with, then we will finish laying the stones, or laying the wreaths up at the soldier circle on top, and then we invite folks to come down here, and we'll take wreaths similar to this, and then we will be able to place the wreath, we step back, we say his name, Jesse Howard Bowers, and place the wreath there. And we'll do that and we'll cover the whole um, soldier circle here and the two circles up on top of the hill. So how many wreaths is that? Um, right, this year, right now, our count is a little over 2,000 wreaths. Wow. And with all the volunteers and great support we have, that will take us probably about 15 minutes. Wow. That's a lot of volunteers it moving is. quickly. It is. And, the, and regardless of the weather, we, we always hope for days like this. We always hope for, for sunny days, but we've had, we've had cold days. We've had inclement weather, but we've had great support from the community, and, and we so appreciate that, and we, we know we'll continue to have that support. 
So if we have viewers out there that are excited to maybe participate or help out in the future, what should they be doing? Um, if they're interested in serving on the committee, they can certainly reach out and, and call me or email me. They can reach out to our Facebook page, um, Reese Across America, Wyuka, Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, they can stop by the cemetery office and let them know and they'll get them in touch with us. And do you also, are there maybe people that might be interested in donating or becoming one of those volunteers out here? Absolutely. We do a, we do a great fundraising effort. Again, the people in, in Lincoln are so was so supportive of the project and so helpful and all the money that we raise goes to buy Rees. We don't have any overhead. We're just all volunteers uh, working on the project. So any money that that is raised goes right into the um, to do the Rees. I uh, we had a meeting a couple weeks ago and I and I believe they told us we're probably seeing about a hundred to hundred and fifteen new military graves a year here at Waiuka. So the numbers the numbers are significant and we are very fortunate that we're able to fundraise to cover those graves. So personally, what does this mean to you? What does an, a, a program like this mean to you? Oh, it just means a lot to me. My, um, my dad was a veteran. Um, both my uncles were veterans. Uh, both my brother-in-laws were veterans. Um, so it's quite an honor to be able to recognize veterans um, from all branches of the military from all over the world and thank them for their service. And I just think when you see the cemetery covered with the wreaths, you really kind of have Mr. Worcester's vision, um, what he wanted to do when he saw um, that some of the graves were, were almost abandoned or not, you know, nobody paid attention to them. So I think it's a great, it's a great um, homage to pay to their veterans, especially my family too, but then just to thank all veterans because um, you know, freedom isn't free, and these people paid the ultimate sacrifice. Well, this is a beautiful, wonderful program that's going on, and thank you so much for all the work you're doing, and good luck. Oh, thank you so much, and come out and see us. If you, if you have the opportunity, two events, December 12th, Capitol Rotunda, December 17th here at Waiuka. Thank you. Hello, I'm Toot Kai Leach with Shape of the City. Mentoring programs have a long track record of giving youth the ability to succeed and thrive in life. Having a positive role model can help kids in school and building relationships and make them less likely to be involved in any crime or other risky behaviors. For over 50 years, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Lincoln has been a valuable program changing lives in our community. Today, I'm here with three amazing people, Emily, Corlin, Valerie. So, thank you guys for joining. Emily, let's start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about Big Brothers Big Sisters and how you got involved? Yeah, Big Brothers Big Sisters is a mentoring program where bigs apply and then are matched with a little brother or sister, and we spend time together throughout each month, hanging out, doing fun activities, and just being a friend to each other. And I would say it's a mutually beneficial relationship, which is the beautiful thing about it. And I got involved when I saw one of my friends posting about it, actually, and she had a little that she loved hanging out with. And I was like, man, that looks so fun. <laughs> so I just asked her about it, and she was like, yeah, you should really look into it. So then I just looked it up online, and I was like, this seems sweet. And I've always loved uh, hanging out with kids. And I never had a little sister. I have two older sisters. So I was like, this is sweet. I get to live out my dream of having a little sister that I never had. When you guys first got together, what were some of the things that you guys would like to do? So I'm going to actually start with you, Corlin. What are some of the favorite things that you like to do? Um, cook eggs. Cook eggs. Okay. Do you guys like to color them? What do you guys like to do with the eggs or just cook them? Just cook them. Okay. What is your favorite memory with each other? And, or if it's easier, most fun day. Do you want to go first? Um, when we went to her apartment, um, first we, like, we cooked some eggs and then um, she got out a balloon and we played with it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um, what do you think that you've learned from your uh, mentee? 
I really love the way that she views the world. I think it's sweet to see the lens she has of the world, and it's really refreshing just to slow down and be reminded of what it looks like through her eyes. And secondly, I would also say the way that she sees people. When I've seen her, when we've been in public, she sees people all the same, and I don't see judgment in her heart, which is a really beautiful thing. Yeah. yeah. What What is, like, the best part of being... Um, you know, a big or little sister? Um, your big is always there for you, mm -hmm. and when you get to know them, they're really nice to you, and they're always excited to see you. Awesome. And what about you, Emily? What's your favorite part about being a big? I think it's just been awesome to see their relationship grow and to watch Cortland grow up. We've been matched for a couple of years now, so it's just been sweet to be part of her life and hear about what she's doing in school and how much she loves school and loves to learn. And just the way that she cares for people, again, I would say is super sweet to just learn from and witness in her life. Awesome. Um, Valerie, how have you seen Cortland change in the time that she's been matched with Emily? She's outgoing. You see her kindness shine through. She's just so loving and her excitement in her eyes when she knows she has a hangout with Emily just melts my heart. So, yeah. so what would you tell other parents who might be thinking about, you know, enrolling their child in the program? I would definitely do it. It is great to see your kid light up and strive at the things that they have goals for, like school activities, just having that person to share it with that want to see them brighten. What is one thing that kind of surprised you after um, them having their relationship together? What is something that she's like brought home or something that she's now interested in after having this uh, relationship? She's interested in cooking. She's interested in like going outdoors more, just, just wants to be involved in everything. And I love it. I love when they come home and they do their special little handshake. Ooh, like yeah. they have their own like language in a way. It's amazing. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. That wasn't as hard, right? Okay. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. If there are viewers out there that want to get involved or want to support in any way, please visit, um, Big Brothers Big Sisters website. It is bbbslincoln.org. Thank you.